Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special treat for you today on the Hammond Cash Show. I'm sitting here in the Lennox Lounge. You can hear there's a lot of action here today, and I'm sitting in the back room in the Zebra Room with one of my all-time favorite musicians. Folks, we got Lou Donaldson here. How you doing, Lou? Okay, pretty good, pretty good. All right. Well, it's great to see you, Lou. We've been playing some of your music on our show. I, I, I play that possum head all the time. Yeah, that's a good number. Good yeah, number. I like that a lot. And so, Lou, you're, you're originally from North Carolina. Right. And what? when did you come to New York? You've been here for a long time. Yeah, right? I've been here since 1950. Wow. Actually, I came in 47, but I, I went back, and then I came back again in 50. That's beautiful. Well, it's a, always a thriving scene here. And yep, a lot of stuff happening here. And you've been a band leader pretty much all the way along, right? Yeah, right, mm -hmm. right. I had to because back then, uh, the only way you could make any money. Right. Those the band leaders back then, you know, well, I don't want to go into them, but you... <laughs> <laughs> A lot of stuff was happening then. You you wouldn't get your money. I know what you mean. But most of the guys I worked for, you wouldn't you wouldn't get paid. You know. Right. Yeah. That's very very typical in this business, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, but, doing that day, they had some different kind of habits. Now, you know? Right. Well, I know you're hooked up, so. <laughs> You know, you're, you're still doing it, so they must have taken care of you, so I'm happy oh, to yeah, see. Oh yeah, of course, of course, yeah, it's, a matter of, it's a matter of progress, you know, you, you dig what's happening, you know, and you adjust yourself to whatever, whatever's going on, you mm -hmm. know. Yes, you know, uh, we were just talking right before we turned on the microphone how a lot of the clubs were very mobbed up, you know, and that was actually where a lot of the music came from, and uh, they paid, they paid, you know, they always paid, you know, because whatever they were doing, they, they liked to have the live music, you know, so, you know, there was always good music in these places, and what are some of the clubs that, that were happening in, around 1950 when you first got here? Oh, man, they had about 20 clubs right here in Harlem, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. I a lot of them, Baby Grand, Small's Paradise, uh, they had, uh, what did they have, they had, uh, Sugar Ray had a, had, a, had a bar and had a band in there and the Connie's, uh -huh. it's called Connie's, Red Rooster, they had a lot of, wow. lot of places. That's beautiful. A lot of places in New York, a lot of, a lot of happening. And what was the instrumentation that you worked with uh, before you started doing the organ group? Oh, I always worked with piano, piano trills, mm -hmm. piano trills. And you have a long time association with uh, Dr. Lonnie Smith, right? Oh yeah. You yeah. guys go way back. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. I knew Lonnie way back when he was working with George Benson. Right. He used to be on Columbia Records. You know. I just heard Lonnie the other day. He played a gig in the rain, and I thought they were going to call it, but they put plastic all around the organ, and they hit down in Madison Park. Oh yeah, Park, they did. You know? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Usually when it rains, they don't play no electronic instruments. Right. I was. Uh, the the rain sort of let up just before he hit, so they they decided to do it. You know, he sounded great as always. You know. Yeah. But I heard you with him uh, at Birdland not too long ago. Yeah. And that was nice. Man. Yeah, well, he's a great guy. Yeah, well, you guys have a beautiful chemistry. Oh, yeah, we've been together many years, many years. Yeah, Luke. Don't have to have no rehearsal because they already know the stuff. That's where it's at, <laughs> man. There's no time to rehearse. You just hit it yeah, and just quit hit, it, just right? hit, just hit it and get it. <laughs> Yeah, man. Well, you know, one thing I always enjoyed in your shows is you have so many uh, humorous stories and anecdotes that keep the show lively, you know. So you've always kept a, a great sense of humor. Uh, you know, how do, how do you keep that happening, you know, in well, this business? Well, I learned when you know? I came up, see, when I came up, uh, it wasn't, no, wasn't television, nothing like that. So uh, every, every club had a, a comedian. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And a, what they call a shake dancer actually it wasn't nothing but a strip, a strip dancer. And they had a singer and they had the band. And so you always, I heard the jokes every night. So I just remember them. Yeah. Well, I worked with Red Fox for years and Nipsey oh, Russell. Really? Wow. Nipsey Russell, cats like that. So I, I just remember the jokes they told. You well, know? you got the timing and the, the delivery. Well, they knew how to do to keep keep that, keep the crowd, you know, right. going, you know. So I just, I remember what, what I saw them do. And also, you, you talk about the real things in life. You oh, know? yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put it into music, put it into music, and uh, as you know, mm -hmm. uh, this this type of music got more to do with feeling than anything else. Right. A lot of people forgot that today, so they, they get a little bit too technical, and they lose they lose the people. Right. But I don't ever do that. That's something they can't teach in school. That's right. I don't right. ever do that. I play I play some exhibition, you know, just to let you know I can get over the horn, but then I go back to the other stuff. Yeah. E even the titles of your tunes that they crack me up sometimes. Uh, how, did you, how did you come up with the title Possum Head? Well, Possum Head was uh, we, 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 we almost hit a possum while we were driving. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh. And we were, we were traveling and we were almost ran over. Him. And I told him, I said, now that's in my own time, we used to catch him. Uh -huh. All the time we go to the cemetery late at night with a flashlight. Wow. Because if, if you shine a light in his eye, he won't move. Oh, really? Oh, you didn't know that, eh? I didn't know that. He won't move. That's Keep that light in his eye, then you grab his tail and hold him, get his feet off the ground. Wow. Because if, if his feet touch the ground, you're in trouble. Because <laughs> <laughs> he can bite you then. Really? Oh, right. The only way to hold him, you got to hold him in the air. That can be let, mean, though. Oh, if you let him hit the ground, you, you just lost a finger. Oh, man. Yeah, well, <laughs> I think I'll lay off the possum. Yeah, they're tough. <laughs> they're tough. Yeah. I have to catch them in the cemetery. You know, that's, really? where they, that's where they hang out. Yeah, no. Me? Yeah. No, uh, under your own name. About 75, I think. 75. Wow, that's beautiful. And do you get called for dates uh, on other cuts then? So you always pretty much well, do your I get, own I get, I get calls all the time. But, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, I don't bother with much of it right now. Mm -hmm. Well, that's Actually, the old records sell more than the new. That's quite a discography. I know that, that you know, you, you're very attached to all the records, but of, of all the record dates you, you've done, is, is there a couple that stand out in your mind? Well, not really. The best one I ever did was Blues Walk, and that, that's just about the first one I did, about the third one I did, mm -hmm. and that was in 1957. And you recorded that here in New York? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Blue Note Records. Uh, who was the producer on that? Me. I produced Oh, you produced everything? Yeah, every, every record I made, I produced it. Guys put their name on it, but they didn't have anything to do wow, with it. Wow, that's beautiful. I never let anybody have anything to do with anything. That's why they sold. Which studio did you record in? Uh, Van Gelder. Oh, Rudy, Rudy, Rudy studio, Van Gelder. Yeah. Recorded in his house. In, in New Jersey, yeah. yeah. He had a house, had a room in his house. Right, that's right. That's where we made he that record. He had the record. sunken living room, the famous right. sunken living room. That's right. where we made that record, right in his house. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, I'm going to definitely pick that up. And Lou, uh, you got so many albums out, and, uh, and the, the latest one, what, which is with that one, we want to push it, you know? Uh, the latest one is uh, The Artist Presents. Artist Presents. It's one of the one I, I selected the best songs I like and put them on the album. That sounds fantastic. And it's selling like hotcakes. All right. And so Another great album I did was close in 68 when I did uh, Alligator Boogaloo. Yeah. That's a big record with George Benson. Right. Lonnie was on there. Uh-huh. Idris Mohammed. That's a wonderful... That's a great record. A man. wonderful track. Well, we're going to definitely get that on the radio. And do you have a website that we can direct everybody to? Yeah, I got one somewhere. My, my daughter's got it in Florida. You can pick it up. Okay. Sweet Papa Lou, AOL dot com. All right. Everybody, <laughs> Lou Donaldson, the man. Sweet Lou. Sweet Papa Lou. So, Lou, you know... Your name rhymes with the name of our radio station, which is KYOU, 1550 AM in San Francisco. We really enjoyed having you on the show. Before we sign off, have you got something? Oh, yeah, they have a party here at the Lennox Lounge. <laughs> it's not even New Year's Eve yet, you know? But before we get out of here, Lou, what, what can you say to the folks on KYOU in KYOU San Francisco? KYOU people uh, appreciate all the years of uh, purchasing my records. I'm not rich, but I'm comfortable. All right. And keep up the good works. Keep cooking. Thank you so much. Lou Donaldson on the Hammond Cash Show, folks.